I found out why I love Dame here so much. No one told her that she's in a kid's show. <laughs> but, oh, well, my name's Fox Ryan, so I'm at Fox. I am back from my little vacation. Um, I'm back from my vacation. I'm gonna ha I plan to head back to Texas again for another movie, but, um... Two twenty four, twenty sixteen. Well, to go see my fan, to go see my brother and stuff. But, um. Anyways, it's the heck is on my thing. The fudge. Um. I just finished watching the new episode of Wander Over Yonder. I don't really have anything scheduled for today, so this is probably my video for today. Um. So, I gotta start doing things I got work. But, anyways, let me get to the show. And why the fudge are there ads playing in my background when I have nothing open? I just watched the two new episodes of Wonder Over Yonder, which was the family reunion. And. And. Whatever the heck the second thing was. Hold on one moment. Sorry, um. The family reunion and the re and the reunion or the rival. I'm sorry. I just got. I literally got off the plane like maybe a half hour ago. <laughs> Ow! But let me. I'll do a quick review of this. They're, both episodes were pretty fun. I love this series. Also, thank you everyone for who's jumped onto the channel or subscribed to the channel. We have now like 270 subscribers. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. But anyways, um. First episode was Wander Over Yonder on the Flintstones Jersey Shore. <laughs> Where, <laughs> which I'll explain, which basically, Sylvia, it opens with Sylvia and Wander being chased by Dominator. Sylvia says she's fed up with Dominator and she runs toward, she looks like she's gonna fight Dominator like head first going toward the ship. She, but she yells, I need. Oh my god! <gasps> she flies right over it, and she, so Wanda's like, but still. Oh, which also the reason why Dominator was chasing was because Wanda wanted to find out what kind of what was uh, Dominator's beverage of choice, or morning beverage of choice, which he found out coffee, black. And I'm pretty sure it was black. So Sylvia. So Sylvia said, Wander's like, no, Syl, we can't leave. We have to do this, this. And then Sylvia says, well, we only my parents. And Wander goes, eh. His hat exploded, not his head. But so he heads, they go to the family, they go to Sylvia's home planet where it's a cross, where it's basically um, the same. I would say the same planet if the Flintstones has was their own planet. Um, well, I guess technically Earth, but yeah, but like it's like if the Flintstones, you know, the Flint if Flintstones were if that was just one entire planet, and then on that one planet, all of the Dinos species rose up and took out all the human people and then just moved into their houses. I made the show a little bit darker, but, um, but it's basically all the worn acts, I believe she's, she's called, um, her species is called, they're all here, this is their home, um, they're all like, they all kind of have a Jersey Shore or Brooklyn accent, I think, I think it's more Jersey Shore-ish, especially with, like, later on, but, like, they, they're all super strong because they're benching, like, giant, they're, carrying around giant boulders that we still have no reason we haven't I don't think we're ever really told no we're never told why they're carrying around giant boulders we just see they're carrying around giant boulders I guess to show that they're super strong that their job is just moving around giant boulders they head to Sylvia's family house where she has three brothers who are like if you take those what is what is his name the scene I don't know Take the guys from Jersey Shore, the big muscle guys, and put them in a house. They go, oh, eat Jersey Shore. Put the <laughs> I never watched the show, but I know of it. Um, basically, take those guys where 
or the stereotypical, I guess, Jersey Shore thing, because I'm pretty sure not everyone in Jersey Shore is like it, but, like, kind of, I'm not, and again, I'm not calling the guys on Jersey Shore dumb, because I'm not going to do that, maybe they ham it up for TV or whatnot, but, um, kind of dumb guys, big, bulky, always working out, uh, tank, uh, those tank top shirts, um, Sylvia's grandma, who's very shriveled and doesn't like Wander, she's always thinking that Wander's gonna steal her purse or something. And then Sylvia's mom, who's very tough, which um, through this out entire episode, um, Sylvia's mom's like, Sylvia. Um, also, all the food is humongous. And he goes, Sylvia, peel the food. And Sylvia peel and has to peel a giant potato that would fill up this entire room with a tiny little like. Like that big of a, that big of a, that big of a peeler, and then also peel the giant carrots. And it's not just one; you're doing multiple ones. And like even when Sylvia is about to eat food, um, the mother tells her to go do something else, and then tells her to do it, do something else again. Like go get the butter. No, no, not that butter. The factory butter. And then Sylvia doesn't even get to eat, and. Sylvia also apparently left without telling his her mother and stuff like that. So she, she was kind of, she's kind of a runaway. Um, I'm sorry, I'm keeping my voice a little low, but she's kind of a runaway. And Sylvia gets fed up with this. She's like, no. Also, this um, Wander, the only reason why Wanda didn't help was because Sylvia's mom said, no, you're our guest. You're not going to do that. Which also, <laughs> the brothers are all trying to figure out what Wander is like. Are you... He's a monkey. No, he's a cat. <laughs> and one of them trying to figure out how much Wander benches. <laughs> where he's like, how much do you bench? Do you ever say how much you bench? How, how much do you bench? <laughs> um, and also at one point they're all eating like meat and stuff like that. And Wander, go, Wander goes, um, do you guys have the lettuce? <laughs> and he's like, and they all just, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> he's like. Oh, you mean like bananas and nuts and stuff that monkeys eat? He's like, no, 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 he wants a sorcerer milk because he's a cat. And they give him a sorcerer milk, like, here's some milk. And then Sylvia's like, here you go, buddy. And gives, gives him a one big leaf of lettuce. He's like, <laughs> that was just funny. Um, and then basically, finally Sylvia said, screw it, I need to get out of here, I need a break. She gets out the window where she finds her mom standing like, oh, you're riding again? And so he goes, no, mom, I don't like this. And they start getting ar ar angry and arguing at each other, which also the um, the three brothers fought at dinner and threw Wander against a table, apparently. Like, but they didn't, you know, the whole cartoony cloud. So um, Wander, Wander's like, this is getting kind of yelly, so what? And you usually get thrown by a table when this happens, so I'm just going to sit back here. And so they start yelling at each other and stuff like that. Um, they all get start getting really angry. They both start getting really angry, and then finally Wander bursts, and he's like, That's enough! No! Stop it! I think they all start getting like the brothers and stuff like that to get into it also. They, so then Wander finally breaks in, and he's like, um, tells them all to get in the living room, and he says, This is a talking stick! Use this talking stick! you only be able to talk because I can talk! Gives it to Sylvia's mom and goes, Now, how do you feel? I feel stupid for holding a stick. No, no, no. How do you feel about Sylvia? What do you think about Sylvia? I think she looks stupid holding the stick. <laughs> and then Sylvia starts getting angry and yelling. And then Wanda's like, No, they pass on the talking stick. And then the brothers grab. like, And then so Wanda goes, Have any questions? And Wanda, and then one of the brothers goes, Yeah, are you a monkey? Another one, Are you a cat? Another one, I, I, You didn't say it. How much do you bench? And then they all start getting fight angry. Uh, Sylvia grabs the stick again. She's like, "No, he's not a monkey. He's not a cat. He's a wanderer." Also, um, they started asking Wander um, earlier. He's th I'm sorry, I'm jumping around, but they asked Wander earlier, like, um, <laughs> "Where do you live? What do you guys do?" <laughs> we help people all around the world. So do you get paid for that? We get paid in smiles. So you don't get paid. <laughs> Um, where do you guys live? <laughs> Wherever the stars take us. <laughs> the grandma, he's a hillbilly! <laughs> You're space hillbillies! <laughs> yeah, they kind of are. <laughs> and then, um, and then he's like, and then he starts saying, like, but I, 
they, and then they were saying, so you fight, you punch bad guys? I'm like, no, I don't punch any bad guys. I, the greatest muscle is your heart with love. And then the grandma, and I wouldn't be, well, I don't know if they, this would become a thing like imagination. <laughs> That'd be funny. And, um, especially since the voice of SpongeBob is on the show. And the grandma's like, space hippies! <laughs> um, but, so, bad things. So, after the fight or whatever, Sylvia says, I know you were sad that, um, you, I know you're probably disappointing me that I left, um, the first time. And the mom goes, I wasn't disappointing you that you left. I was disappointed that you came back. And Sylvia's like, what? They take her to, apparently, the Sylvia room where... The mother has all of Wander and Sylvia's deeds posted up on the walls. And, like, you see, like, all the different episodes and stuff, which was kind of cool seeing that. And um, the mom says, I'm very proud of you, but my girl wouldn't run from a fight. She's out there helping the world. So either go out there and fight some fight some bad guys or um, fight with me. And she, she says, like, you going around helping the world fighting that dumb hater and you see a picture of a hater on the wall and she punches the picture and then the picture looks all hurt I'm like oh my gosh hater hater gets hurt even when he's not even in the freaking room but it was nice and touching so his eyes water up um, the mother's eyes water up the three brothers eyes water up and the whole cold angry grandma just her eyes water up, and they're all just well, eyes all watery. And Wander was holding in a hug the entire time because Sylvia told her not to hug, told him not to hug. And also, he has giant hands when he hugs, which is funny. And he's like, ah! And Wander hugs him once, like, I love you, Sylvia family. And then the, one of the brothers, and the one of the brothers goes, so that's how much you bench press. Oh gosh, dang it! Which also, I'm like, holy fudge, Wander is actually pretty dang strong, but. I'm like, that's pretty funny. Then the next one is The Rival, where Wander, sh um, not Wander, uh, Hater's ship is trying to, like, Hater's trying to go up to Sil um, Lord Dominator's ship, and you, as Hater talks, and the ship is talking, he's like, like How about you do? Just like, go over to, Hey, babe, do you wanna, do you wanna, like, trying to do pick up lines? But then they, but then him and Peepers look, and they see, Captain Awesome. Oh, he says, oh yeah, I'm awesome. I'm cool. I'm... And then he sees him and he see Captain Awesome's like limousine. And he's like, oh, Captain Awesome, no! Peepers is worried that Captain Awesome is going to... Um, when he's trying to get... Has a new secret weapon to try to impress Dominator so they could team up. Um, Hater is scared that um, Dominator is going to go with Captain Awesome. So Hater and Peepers are going, Haters, well they first they say their things again like, oh, you think it's that thing? Oh, and then Hater goes, too bad it's mine, he just falls down, I'm like, that's funny. And so then they try to listen in, where Dominator does let Captain Awesome inside the ship and starts talking with him. And while they're talking, um, Dominator's try, Hater's, Hater's looking at, through like big telescopes at, um, the two talking Dominator just is having none of this as she's working on the computer while Captain Awesome's talking and talking while they both talk but you don't hear it and Hater's like don't worry I can totally read lips oh uh, you the cat needs to be can you walk my cat Tuesday no the leash isn't made of leather I can make it out of Corinthian da la la and he was like, oh, good. They're talking about nothing really, nothing that makes any sense. <laughs> and so he was like, get out of here. And um, Peepers looks through, um, Peepers looks through, he's like, oh, they're talking about pet. They're talking about a bride teaming up or something. And then they say, um, what was it after that? They're talking about that, like, they're going to team up. After that, what was it? Honestly, cannot remember. After that, oh right, um, after that, um, Hater looked through the thing and sees Captain Awesome dancing. Captain Awesome dancing and, and it looked like he was first mooning Hater and stuff, but apparently he was just trying to dance to, I guess, impress Dominator. And he was like, "Oh my God, well, I can dance too!" And you see him dancing while you're like the skeletal man or some like, some kind of song. He's trying to dance and he's shaking his butt. So I'm like, "Oh my gosh, this is so dang stupid." Um, funny, stupid. Um, 
Peeper's like, no, stop that. And Peeper looks through the, <laughs> looks, or then Hater looks through the telescopes again. And sorry if the frame rates drop, but looks through the telescope again. And <laughs> you see, um, Don, uh, what was his freaking name? Captain Awesome, like, uh, twerking, I guess, in behind Dominator. Dominator's just like, just, she does not want any of this. She turns around, grabs <laughs> Captain Awesome by his butt, and takes him away, <laughs> takes him out of the screen. And people's like, and Dominator's like, <laughs> or Hater's like, <laughs> passes out. And people's like, what? What's going on? What? Where'd they go? He's like, and Hater goes, they probably went to the smooching room. <laughs> people's like, the smooching room? And Hater shows this plan. He says, shows this layout, layout that, from an algorithm of Dominator's ship and takes him, takes her, takes Peeper to see this thing and he goes, yeah, see, this is this place, this is this place, and these are the two smooching rooms and Peeper goes, and it, this is something he draw with crayon and Peeper goes, sir, I don't think an overlord would have a smooching room in her ship, have, let alone two, and Hater goes, we have six. <laughs> and they appear in a smooching room, and you see Hater, like, acting like he's going to smooch or whatever while music plays. <laughs> I'm like, gosh, dang it. I think I think there might be a, a reference to Doctor Who with it being so bitch bigger on the inside. That, or it could just be cartoon logic, which I love cartoon logic because it's awesome. Um, not to mention, if... Hater ship is so freaking huge in that small little ship. What on earth? How big is it? If the same thing applies to Dominator ship, Dominator ship would be an entire planet. But like the Tardis. Um, but so they then have a plan. Okay, we need to send someone in there to stop to um, find. Uh, to find out what's going on. So they they grab one of the watchdogs and just tape a oh, camera to his head and says, you're gonna go in there and spy on Dominator and Captain Awesome. But watch out, but watch out for them. Watch out for the Magma Lady because she'll melt you. And watch out for Captain Awesome because he'll beat the crap out of you. And watch out for the hand guys. And watch out for the molten lava robots that can destroy you. And the watchdog's like, oh, I have to fudge. <laughs> also, they just duct tape the camera and they then <laughs> what was funny is they press a button, the watchdog falls <laughs> into like a pit, close the thing close up, and all you hear is ah! <laughs> you see the guy else in the window just flying towards Dominator's ship. I'm like, oh my god, you killed him. They <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> they didn't kill them, at least not then, because after that, Dominic, um, Peepers and Hater are watching this on a TV screen, and it's, I'm, I think this might be homaging a little bit, or just making fun of um, the Blair Witch Project, because you're seeing it all, like, shaky cam, um, handheld thing, you see, like, you don't see the character, you only see his shadow, and he's looking, he's like, oh my gosh, there's robots over there, run this way, run, run zigzag, stop shaking, you're making me sick, <laughs> that's right, go in the closet, they go in the closet, <laughs> closet. Uh, <laughs> there was a closet. No, but they go into this like he goes into this closet area where it's like there's a crack open, I guess, because I guess there was a hole. So it goes into Dominator's closet from the back, I guess. And in there, um, he's sort of listening. He's like, he goes, "All right, stay right there. We can let us hear this." And Captain was like, "Yeah, babe, I got this new, I got this new stuff. I got this uh thing." Uh, <laughs> This new thing? What? Um, we have this new awesome secret weapon. Dominator's like, okay, I'm intrigued. Bring it to me. Show it. Let me see it. And <laughs> let me see your secret weapon. And once, for one thing, I'm like, Captain Awesome could be trying to get dominated, like, to team up. But then I'm also thinking, I, I really think he's going to try to get with her. And I would definitely don't want that to happen. I don't want Dominator to get with Captain Awesome because that would be so dang stupid. But also, I'm pretty sure, again, no one told Dominator what show she's in. <laughs> no one told her what show she's in. So she is play. so she is 
<laughs> she is playing a maniacal evil villain. <laughs> But still a nerd, which is all <laughs> a nerdy villain, which is just freaking awesome. Let me take my thing off. My, not my thing off, but um. So so haters like <gasps> oh no, and also wait, they're trying to listen on a little bit more. And then the the well, watchdog starts crying, which I don't know how his tears got to the top of the camera, but whatever. Um, the watchdog starts crying, and then short circuits the camera. Short circuits the camera after Hater says, Stop crying! <laughs> they short circuit the camera and, um, oh, he goes, Well, damn, now we can't hear or see anything. And people goes, How are we gonna get inside? And then Hater's like, ah, It's all wrong! And he keeps hitting his hand on this, and people is in Hater look at his hand and look at each other, and they dress up as the hand guys, which also talk like this, which I thought was hilarious. Um, they dress up as the hand guys, like Peepers is the hand, the head, and then Do Haters the body, and they're trying to, and they're going through this, <laughs> um, they're going through this the Dominator ship, and uh, Peepers goes, "All right, I'll tell you when to turn left, okay? Turn left, turn left, now!" <laughs> Hater turns right into a wall, <laughs> and he's, like, "I said left," and Hater goes, "My left or your left?" We have the same left! And he goes, left! And the hater hits the right again. <laughs> Which I think the hater might be dyslexic. <laughs> but, um... Uh... Yeah, my hair. Oh, it smells like shampoo. <laughs> uh... Then, uh, what was it? They find, like, a, some, it looks like a, like a gun or something underneath a tarp. And, like, <gasps> there it is! All right, I know what to do. <laughs> He's like, "All right, we gotta play this cool." <laughs> they walk over to the the fist guy that's right next to this quote unquote gun, this secret weapon, top secret weapon. And I'm just thinking, okay, Hater is dressed up as a giant fist, and this guy's really small. He's gonna bend over and hit his head like a fist to knock the guy out and steal the gun. But then he starts talking to him, going, "Hey there, buddy. I just wanted you." It's like, I'm like. Okay, and then boom hits the guy, hits the guy, and then runs with the gun. I'm like, fuck, I knew it. <laughs> I'm like, that was good. That was that was a nice little build up. Instead of just straight up action hit, it was like talk a little. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was for, very foreseeable, which I thought, yeah. Which also, I think it was kind of so foreseeable. I'm thinking, okay, they can either do this joke or it be that they do something totally different. But they did. I think that was actually pretty good like we expect I expected that and they came through with it but they kind of still like made you wonder like okay are they gonna are they really are they gonna do this joke they did <laughs> damn all right 23 minutes and I need to go to bed <laughs> but so hater dominator what one was it um so that so he grabs the <laughs> Hater grabs the gun as they're running. They're still dressed. Um, Peeper's still riding like, on Hater's head as the f fist head, and they're running. And uh, Peeper's go. There, there's a fork in the road as robots start chasing them and the hand guy. <laughs> and <laughs> Peeper goes. There's a fork in the road and Peeper goes. Go left. <laughs> and well, yeah. From the way I'm looking at it, it looks like I'm pointing right, but I'm pointing left. He goes, go left! And <laughs> Hater just goes right again. So I'm assuming Hater doesn't know right from left or he's dyslexic. <laughs> Which wouldn't surprise me either way. But, so, uh, they're running and then they accidentally run into Dominator's ship. Or like main room where Dominator's just sitting down on her throne. Um, and... He's like, oh no, where are we? And one of the hand guys comes, grabs Hater in the suit, throws him, throws him away with peepers, and throws him like away. And like, they go. Then the hand guy goes, Lord Dominator, this is the this is the secret weapon. Pulls off the tarp, and peepers like, no. And they're like, oh. and it's like, you see, shiny, it's a silhouette, it looks like a gun. And then it turns out to be um, freaking Captain Awesome pointing his arms like this, like Captain Awesome. <laughs> so dang stupid. But 
So he's like, yeah, check out these guns. Yeah. You know, with guns. Yeah, I'm kind of small. Well, there's something, I guess. <laughs> but he's like, yeah, check out these guns. Yeah. And this yeah, shows her, shows him his, shows Dom here his butt. I'm like, oh my gosh. And Dom here just walks up. And he's like, oh, very nice. And he was like, oh no. And Peter's like, oh, they are just dating. And then Dom goes, I really, when you, I thought, you know, slow day, you come up here saying you have a secret weapon, I thought, you know what, I'll give it a chance, maybe he had something funny, and you see, as Dominator says this then, she grabs um, Captain Awesome's leg, and Magma starts slowly creeping up Cap Ma Captain Awesome's body, I'm like, oh my god, but she's like, but you're so dang stupid, you're even stupider than that hater idiot. That idiot hater. And then it cuts the hair in the suit. He goes, oh, she knows my name. And he has a dumb look on his face. And Peter is like, but she called you. But she called you. Peter goes, but she called you an idiot. An idiot who's the name she knows. So then, uh, Dominator basically encases Captain Awesome and Magma, which one, I would have loved if it would have went a little bit darker if she totally just froze him in magma. But, no, so she says, oh, get your things and go! And she throws, I think, Dominator out of her ship, and then the robots start attacking, like, the hand guys, and he's like, yeah, she doesn't like, yeah, she doesn't like oh, Captain Awesome, she's gonna love Dom Hater, she's gonna marry Hater, she likes Hater, and he's dancing all this, and people go, sir! <laughs> they look, and Dominator's just like, <laughs> it just, it just forms magma, just throwing it at him, like, oh my god! They run, um, they get in the ship, and they fly away, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it, it, I'm sorry, I, I missed some of the ending, because, you know, it's not at all, but, yeah, <laughs> this was a fun episode, I really love it. And again, I think the one thing I love about Dominator about this is that Dominator just does not. Dominator is is from a different show. She is from a much darker show. <laughs> she is not from the silly, silly, the silly type show. She is from a lot darker show. She wants to take over the galaxy. She does not give a flying. About this silly crap, which I love. I think that's, I think that's my probably one of the reasons why a lot of people like her. Or at least why, and one reason I definitely like her on this show. It's so freaking awesome. But either way, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Pretty fun episode. Thank you everyone for joining my 200, all 270 of you. Thank you everyone for commenting. My wonder over what yonder videos are some of my biggest ones. By the way, thank you all so much for watching. Please check out all my other videos, and we will see you later.